When you think upscale luxury living in Florida, you may think Miami, Boca Raton, Palm Beach. Now living a luxury lifestyle is not hard to find, but here in Northeast Florida, there is a gem that not many know about. Today, I'm gonna to give you the inside scoop of an exclusive suburb of Jacksonville known as Ponte Vedra. So if you're fortunate enough to afford high-end luxury living in Florida, let's get into it now. So before I go into the overview of Ponte Vedra Beach, a real quick backstory. I actually grew up and lived most of my life in South Florida in the Boca Raton area. And as I got married and had children, my two daughters, um, my wife and I made a move five years ago here to Northeast Florida. Originally, when we came to the area, um, if you watch my previous videos, our main um, objective was to find the best public school system available to us here in Northeast Florida. So we ended up in St. Johns County. Now, although I initially drove through Ponte Vedra Beach, I immediately thought this is where I want to be because I wanted to be as close to the beach as possible. But what I came to find out was is that a lot of the homes in Ponte Vedra Beach were not only very high on my budget, or above my budget, but they also required renovations. And there wasn't a whole lot of options for new construction. Hence is a reason why I ended up in Ponte Vedra in Nocatee. But today's video, I'm gonna give you a complete overview of Ponte Vedra Beach so that you can really find out if it is the place for you. And if you stick around to the end of the video, we'll also go over the market current homes for sale. And I'll give you a little feedback on that as well. So let's get into it. All right, welcome to my handy computer here. We're in the Google Maps and really quick, we're talking about Ponte Vedra Beach today. So really quick, just to get a glimpse of where we're located, we're in the uh, Northeast section of Florida here near the Georgia border. Um, we're right outside Jacksonville, about 18 miles from Jacksonville Southeast here in Ponte Vedra Beach, even though Jacksonville is Duval County, um, not to confuse the fact that Ponte Vedra Beach being a suburb is actually in St. John's County. Um, and it is also uh, north of uh, 26 miles north of downtown St. Augustine. So pretty killer location if you want to be by the beach. And of course, some people may confuse it with Ponte Vedra, which is just west of there here in the Nocatee area where I live. Um, and so uh, to be very clear, Nocatee and, and Ponte Vedra is 32081 zip code. Uh, Ponte Vedra Beach is 32082 zip code. Um, and it is just located south of Jacksonville Beach. Um, really quick, let's go ahead and take a look at the numbers. Uh, it is 32,000 in population, according to censusreporter.org, um, 33 square miles. And the average income is about 116,000 is the medium household income. Okay, so, so although Ponte Vedra Beach is pretty small, um, you may have heard it in the past um, based on this famous location known as TPC Sawgrass. Now TPC Sawgrass is where the um, headquarters PGA hosts the players event. One of the most exclusive golf tournaments of the year. Um, it is actually during um, March time. Uh, let me see here. It says March 12th through 17th is the next time it's going to be held in 2024. And this is pretty much the time where most locals dip out of town because the place gets crazy hectic during this time. Um, if you want to visit and play a round of golf, I think it's like five, six hundred bucks to play a round of golf. Um, but if you just want to go check it out, even though TPC Sawgrass is a country club community, you can go uh, get in there and check out one of my favorite um, restaurants there. And that is called um, 19. 
Um, food is very good. Uh, it's got a rating of 4.6 on Google here. Um, casual dining, but I mean, it's really all about sitting there on the greens, uh, on the patio, having an, a stellar lunch. I enjoy it and I take clients there every once in a while. Um, so it is an opportunity to go ahead and visit TPC Sawgrass. Uh, when you're going through the gate, just tell them you're going to have lunch at 19 and you shouldn't have a problem getting in there so that you can kind of get a glimpse of the of the course and of course the um, the gorgeous grounds of TPC Sawgrass. Um, PJ also has a headquarters in Ponte Vedra Beach. So um, that does not mean that you have to be a major golfer to live in Ponte Vedra Beach. There are a lot of different options if you just want to live in Ponte Vedra Beach and not necessarily but you be part of a golf country club. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of golf communities that are very famous that we'll talk about here today that are uh, don't require you to have um, country club membership. Um, but before we go there, if somebody was asking, you know, uh, where would I look or begin the process of searching for a home? My question would be to you first off is, um, do you want to live near uh, the beach on the beach side here on the east side? Or do you want to be able to have a home on the intercoastal near the uh, or on the intercoastal off of Roscoe Boulevard? There's really only three major roads, um, uh, access ways into Ponte Vedra Beach. You can come off of Palm Valley Road, also known as 210, um, and that comes through here as one of the main veins, Palm Valley Road. You have uh, A1A, and then you have Roscoe Boulevard. Um, so there's not a lot of roads uh, in, in Ponte Vedra Beach, so it can get crowded at certain times of the day, especially when um, school is in session. Uh, the schools are some of the top in the state of Florida here in Ponte Vedra Beach. Uh, we also have really good private schools there, but they're all rated A on niche.com. Um, so if you're looking to move the area, I would say, hey, do you want to be near the intercoastal side or do you want to be on the beach side? Um, is it important for you to have a, a golf membership because you're really into golfing? Um, then there are several options there. If you want to have close access to the beach, walking distance, um, then I would say Old Ponte Vedra Beach would be a good area for you. Um, really quick, if you haven't seen my video, um, Top Suburbs of Jacksonville, according to niche.com, check it out. Sawgrass is a township in Ponte Vedra Beach, which is ranked on the top seven. And then Palm Valley is also ranked in the top seven township here in Ponte Vedra Beach. So again, um, very exclusive area. Okay, so what else is there to do in Ponte Vedra Beach? And the answer to that is, is uh, probably to enjoy some of the beautiful beaches. Now, even though uh, we're in Florida and we're in the northeast section of Florida, anything north of uh, Orlando is going to be at least 10 degrees colder up here. So we do have a change of seasons and we do have our winters, although it doesn't get really cold. It's not exactly swimming weather. Um, so I would say from November to March, or maybe December through March, you will not catch anybody swimming. Although I did see people at the beach this weekend. So um, we're in October as filming this. So I'll probably around the end of November, it'll start getting really cold and you'll see less people at the beach. Um, but we do have beautiful, pristine beaches here. Uh, we don't have high rises on the beach. So most of the access points to the beach are very limited in this exclusive community, Ponte Vedra Beach. Really, the best access points are really to be at one of the club memberships. And if not, the public beach access points are very limited um, in between these beachfront mansions. And, but down here, you do have public parking at Michler's Landing. Some people pronounce it Mickler's. That's not correct. It's Michler's Landing. That's probably your, your best access point with, with public parking, if you will. Um, as you can see here, it's probably... The most crowded you'll see of any beach in Ponte Vedra Beach because of the, the parking and the, the showers and the restrooms or whatnot. But that's the only real public access point unless you decide to go down here to my favorite parts of the beaches, which is on the south 
end of Ponte Vedra Beach, uh, South Ponte Vedra Beach, and those are the guana preserves. Um, our favorite place to go is there's three guana preserve entrances, and one of our favorite places to go is on the um, south end. And if you uh, go down there, there's also hiking and kayak rentals that you can uh, go on here in the uh, guana preserve section. So really cool if you're into nature, hiking, um, kayaking and everything, you can do that on the intercoastal um, down here in the guana preserve. So that is certainly one of the best things to enjoy uh, if you live in Ponte Vedra Beach is the beaches, kayaking, nature, the intercoastal boating, uh, if you will. And if not, um, you know, and you're not a big sand person, well, you can still enjoy the beach and, and become a member of the various beach clubs like Cabana Beach Club. Um, there's also uh, the famous Ponte Vedra Inn and Club. There's also the the lodge, I believe, is over here as well. Um, so various different clubs you can go and enjoy the pool, have lunch on the beach, and not necessarily be on the beach. You have the Sawgrass Beach Club. Uh, again, a lot of clubs on the beach um, if you have membership and are fortunate enough to enjoy that luxury. There's also right here by Michaelers, there's also the Plantation Beach Club, which is part of the Plantation Country and Golf Club as well. So a lot of beach clubs. So Ponte Vedra Beach is not really known for shopping, if you will. Um, if you're gonna go shopping, you're probably most likely gonna have to go to this St. John's Town Center. This isn't like Palm Beach or Rodeo Drive where you have your Louis Vuittons and all that. It's it's really what makes um, actually Ponte Vedra Beach really exclusive is that it doesn't have a lot of commercialization. Um, and if you wanna go shopping big box, you'll come up north here um, to Jacksonville Beach. Um, and in Jacksonville Beach, just 20 minutes north, you'll run into the Home Depot, Target, and even a Trader Joe's. Um, but just because it doesn't have a lot of big box stores in Ponte Vedra Beach, you do have your Whole Foods, your Fresh Market, and whatnot. Um, probably one of the more popular shopping centers is um, Sawgrass Village Shopping, which has your your basic shopping um, stores, and then of course some restaurants that are pretty well known in town that we like to attend as well, including Nona Blue, Aqua Grill, um, some of your standard Metro Diners. So um, there is your Publix in 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 uh, there are some hotels. There's Cafe Adiamo, an Italian restaurant, Mulligan's Pub, um, an electric bike rental. And then of course, really, which is cool, they do have a um, foxtail that just opened up coffee shop, which is a pretty sweet place. My wife and I visited there after going to Nona Blues. Uh, we had, a, the kids had a little ice cream. My wife had a glass of wine and I had a cup of coffee. Cool little spot. I know they're based out of um, Orlando. So glad to see them make their way here to Ponte Vedra Beach. But again, Ponte Vedra Beach remains quaint because we don't have the big box stores. And if you want to go to the Louis Vuittons of the world, you'd be going to St. John's Town Center. So again, I think that's what makes this place so unique. All right, so Ponte Vedra Beach, if you've watched my video, the top five restaurants in Jacksonville, two of them are actually, two of our favorites are in Ponte Vedra Beach. And because I'm a foodie, my wife and I are foodies, I can't skip over this. I gotta talk about restaurants because Ponte Vedra Beach definitely has some good ones. So our go-to all the time, I, I think I mentioned it before in that plaza there, uh, we like to head out over to um, uh, Nona Blue. And Nona Blue is a very casual American restaurant. It's kind of a cross between a J.R. Alexander's and a, a Houston's. I believe the owners um, used to work at those two organizations, but it's kind of like a, a, a half and half of that. It's casual. You can watch the uh, games on the TV. It has a really nice bar scene, outdoor seating. Um, so great option if you're in um, in uh, Ponte Vedra Beach, they have one in Lake Nona, it looks like as well. So again, great cheeseburgers, great steak. Sometimes they have a, a sea bass, which is phenomenal that my wife likes to order. 
when that special is available. Um, our second go-to, if you want to go and eat on the intercoastal um, and have really good barbecue, is Valley Smoke, which is on the intercoastal side. You can get a fantastic brisket if you like it um, marbly like I do. And then they also have a huge bourbon selection as well. So that's one of our top go-tos. Um, I did go to University of Texas, and so I always like me a little bit of authentic barbecue. And I'll tell you, these guys do a fantastic job. Um, when my wife and I are looking for a date night, uh, we go ahead and check out Restaurant Madour. It's been around a while. It's a, a very high-end upscale restaurant, uh, a little on the pricey side, but again, fantastic menu, great um, dinner options, uh, get cleaned up and get out for a night in the town. Uh, definitely one of our favorites and, and certainly has made a staple uh, and a great reputation for itself in Ponte Vedra Beach. And then finally, a new restaurant that opened up just recently in the last year is called 1912 Ocean Bar and Rooftop. Now, you know how I mentioned there's a lot of beach clubs on the beach area and a lot of people are members of those clubs so they can dine on the beach for lunch or dinner at their club. So, but if you're not a member of the club, this is a great option for you to go ahead and have a, a dining experience um, overlooking the ocean. It is truly beautiful. Um, the, the, the drinks are really nice. It is a little pricey, but definitely worth the dinner. We went there last weekend and we had some Phenomenal steaks, um, great service, and as you can see here, I took a little video. The the the, the view is tremendously amazing um, on a Sunday evening overlooking the beach. So a lot of great dining options in Ponte Vedra Beach as well. I'm just touching up on just a few of them. All right, so now it's time to talk real estate, right? Um, just to understand. There's different ways to go about this. As I said earlier, if you want to be on the intercoastal or want to have a boat, you want to be on the west side of Ponte Vedra Beach on the intercoastal off of Roscoe Boulevard, which has a lot of estate homes that are about a half an acre to an acre on the water. Um, the only consider you got to worry considerations you have to make there is making sure that the home was structurally built um, at the right uh, level since there it is prone to flooding in this area so it's all it's very good to have a good real estate professional that knows the area very well has a, a good insurance um, person to kind of identify the flood zones and, and what your liabilities are going to be there but you can certainly have your boat on the water here on the intercoastal with some really nice um, preserved views across the water depending on where you are you can also live in marsh landing country club which is this section up here on the northwest section it's called marsh landing it's a gated community with a country club and a golf club um, you do not have to have membership to those clubs in order to live in this community but they also do have a marina as well that if you're fortunate enough to pick up a home there that you have a slip for your boat in that marina as well so that is another option if you're a boating fan and you want to have your um, boat um, parked behind your house here in Ponte Vedra beach Another option is obviously is deciding to live in a, a country club community. Like I mentioned earlier, you have TPC Sawgrass, which is a country club community, lots of neighborhoods within that community. And again, those um, that community does not require you to become a member of their country club to live well, there. Besides um, TPC country, uh, TPC Sawgrass, right down here by the Ponte Vedra Concert Hall is a community known as the Plantation at Ponte Vedra. Um, Plantation at Ponte Vedra, like I mentioned earlier, does have a beach club as well. So you can sit around the pool and enjoy a view of the Atlantic Ocean. And of course, this is a community where you are required to have a club membership if you're going to live in the community. The amenities are incredible, as you can see here. Amazing golf course, pickleball course, tennis club, you name it. It's all there in the plantation at Ponte Vedra Beach. Um, so the homes are a little bit of an older vintage here, so you will see a lot of people taking some of these homes and completely renovating them. And then, of course, as I mentioned, on top suburbs to live, in uh, in uh, in Jacksonville, Sawgrass, that area was one of them. And of course they have the Sawgrass Country Club that has multiple golf courses. 
And again, you can live in there and I, I don't believe you're required to have golf membership, but you can live in a home there. They also have a beach club as well across the street. So if you want to have golfing, be close to the beach, have access to the beach club, have nice dinners on the beach and, or lunches, this is a great option for you at Sawgrass Country Club. Now, another most popular area is certainly up here in um, Ponte Vedra Beach or the old Ponte Vedra Beach area, the famous Solano, Solano Road off of here just north um, is where you'll see the Ponte Vedra Inn and Club, which is a very established um, old school club that's been around for, I don't know, 100 years. And we love to go there to uh, have a treat with my wife to their spa. Um, truly beautiful pool. Massages are incredible. And of course, it takes uh, ages to get an appointment there. But we do it once a year as a treat for my wife and I. And it is, is such a treat. But a lot of folks that um, want to live that beach lifestyle and have access to beautiful greens, um, golf course and whatnot, as well as an exclusive old school club. A lot of people live in this uh, area here in Ponte Vedra Beach. And of course, this is probably some of the most exclusive real estate with beachfront homes um, in the in the multi of millions and millions of dollars, which I'll go ahead and give you. We'll go over some of these uh, homes that are available for sale now. Um, if you want to go on the lower end of the budget uh, and you don't want to be a member of a club and all that doesn't mean much to you, uh, there's two popular communities where you can get into Ponte Vedra Beach, if you will, um, on the lower price point. I wouldn't say it's cheap, but uh, that would be certainly uh, Odom's Mill, um, which is it's not gated. There's no club or anything like that. There's just an HOA. Um, that's a great option for you. And then, of course, uh, the other big option for you as well would be uh, Sawmill Lakes, which is also another community right off here as you come through the intercoastal on the left here of Palm, Palm Valley Road. You'll see Sawmill, Sawmill Lakes, which is another option to get into Ponte Vedra Beach for, you know, a million bucks. So uh, let's get into the pricing of homes here in Ponte Vedra Beach. All right, let's have some fun with the real estate here in Ponte Vedra Beach. Um, I went ahead and did a search uh, for uh, a 3,000 plus square foot home, four bedroom minimum in Ponte Vedra Beach, no budget, which is always fun. And on all of Ponte Vedra Beach, um, only 51 homes came up here, as you can see from the map, which is not a ton, but definitely a lot more than... Um, what we've been seeing here as uh, inventory has been limited, but definitely a lot more options than usual. And I, I went ahead and picked a, a, a selected a few of my favorites. Um, this one here is a 4,300 square foot home, five bedroom, four bath. Um, it's built in 1957. It's a five bedroom, four bath, and it's 3,500,000. And it's an older home. But as you can see here, you're paying for the location. It's in that old Ponte Vedra area that I was talking about, which is close to the beach, also close to the Ponte Vedra Inn and Club. And, and, and as you can see in these older homes, what beautiful designs they were with the tall ceilings. It looks like it has a few upgrades. It has a beautiful pool um, right there on the golf course. Ideal location, in that, and that's essentially what you're paying for in this home. Let me find out a little more detail on it. Again, um, experience the ambiance of old Ponte Vedra. You're paying for the location located on the 15th fairway of the Ponte Vedra Inn and Club. Again, built in 1957. It looks like it's had some renovations. So gorgeous home. If you have the flow, it's uh, around three and a half million, five bedroom, four bath. Gorgeous, gorgeous home. Uh, you're definitely paying for a location on that one right there. Um, the next one I picked was in Seaview, Seaview Park, um, another popular location. Let's go ahead and take a look at it here, um, right there east of A1A. Um, and this one is uh, walking distance to the beach and Ponte Vedra Inn, Inn and Club. And what's really cool about this one is this is a, a concrete block home, which I think is definitely something that should be noted. 12 foot ceilings. And again, at 1.5 million, built in 2006, 3,700 square feet, four bedroom, three bath. So um, definitely affordable to be near the beach. Uh, let's take a look at inside. 
Um, again, it's really pointing out how close it is to the beach in the Ponte Vedra Inning Club. So definitely a popular area for sure. Um, home looks a little, you know, could use some updating, but plenty of options for that. But again, can't beat the location for that price point. Um, definitely an option for you if you're on a budget. If money is no object, I certainly love this beach home that I picked up here, uh, that I picked out here, which is just under 14 million. Again, massive beach home in Ponte Vedra Beach. Let's look at the details of this one. Five bedroom, four bath, 5,400 square feet. Um, classic East Coast beach house built in 2021. So it's a one of kind beach property. Let's take a look inside. It looks gorgeous already. Um, yeah, nice, beautiful lap pool in the back right there on the beach. Very well done. Gorgeous home. Very modern. And of course, you know, three, four years ago, you could find a beach home in Ponte Vedra Beach for about $3 million. And since COVID and, and the huge migration of Florida, those days are gone. And so uh, these are record sales homes we've seen recently, homes over $10 million sell for in Ponte Vedra Beach. So um, great opportunity to live on the beach. Uh, certainly more affordable than South Florida, but... Um, yeah, I'm not sure 100 percent. Most of those homes on the beach in South Florida, you can't even get in, uh, insurance because of um, the last hurricane. But definitely um, a little bit more affordable here in northeast Florida if you want to get on the beach with something as exquisite as this. Um, here we go. This home I picked was in the harbor in Marsh Landing. This is the community that has the um, marina. Um, in is a country club um, golf community you don't have to have membership but this is in one of the most exclusive neighborhoods in um, marsh land uh, marsh landing and it is a uh, let's take at the details here it is uh, just under 5,000 square feet 4,537 square feet six bedrooms six bath built in 2001 um, it does come with a 40-foot boat slip, which gives you easy, easy access to the intercoastal. So I kind of like this Mediterranean kind of look. Definitely one of a kind. It's on the marsh. Um, beautiful home. A lot of options there. And that one's listed at 2.7. Moving right along to one of my favorite neighborhoods near the beach is Sawgrass. Not to be confused with TPC Sawgrass, but this is Sawgrass Country Club. On the, on the greens, nice size a lot, very ranch style, high ceilings, definitely needs a lot of renovations, but at 1.9 million, if you, if you don't go crazy, you can still be in a, a decent budget in a very nice size home. Um, this one is about 4,346 square feet. It's four bedroom, four bath, uh, beautiful size a lot, built in 1981. Um, has a pool. So a lot of great options. And the beauty of it is, is it's also fairly close to the beach as an access point to the beach here. And if you want to have that beach club membership, uh, you do have that option here in Sawgrass. Now, if you want to live in the intercoastal, this is a Mac Daddy home. This is one of these uh, builders purchasing the land and, and building a massive um, uh, waterfront home. This one's 5,500 square feet, seven bedroom, five bath. Um, the lot is 70 feet wide um, by 453 feet. Um, masterpiece of contemporary design, perfectly situated in the serene shores of the intercoastal waterway, newly constructed. Um, so great opportunity if you want to live on the intercoastal side of Ponte Vedra Beach. Let's take a look at the inside of this home. It's a brand new home, very modern. Uh, can't beat the finishes of this. If you want new and you want to live on the intercoastal and this size of a home, you can't beat it for sure. So a lot of great options here in uh, Ponte Vedra Beach um, for sure. And if you're thinking about moving the area, my name is Greg DeTulio. I'd love to be your resource of choice. My information will be in the description below. You can text me, email me, or um, go ahead and give me a call. Um, whether you're moving in nine days, 90 days, or 180 days, I'd, I'd love to be your resource of choice and uh, certainly help you um, with your search 
for moving to Ponte Vedra Beach. And if you're thinking about selling as well, I'd love to be, again, uh, a consideration for that and, and be more than glad to give you an evaluation um, of your home currently and look for your next move. Um, there are plenty of videos on this channel if you haven't subscribed to, uh, already and um, you're looking to continue to receive more value. I post these videos weekly. Make sure you subscribe and go ahead and take a look, take a look at those videos I mentioned earlier, whether it be the top five restaurants in Jacksonville or um, some of the best suburbs of Jacksonville. Check out those next videos and I'll see you there.